On Tuesday morning, we got a call from FWC reporting that they had found 35 of our bags uh, on the shoreline at Dickerson City Boat Ramp. Uh, that's up in Milton. Uh, my boss went up there to check it out, and he there was right there were 35 bags up uh, on the shoreline, and these bags all had oysters in them to begin with, and they were all emptied. Um, each bag contained anywhere between 400 to 600 oysters. Um, we've noticed that they were targeting the bigger bags with the larger oysters, uh, but they also had some bags that had some smaller oysters, which would increase the number that we had in the bags. Um, Today uh, I went out to the farm for the first time since there was a uh, weather yesterday. I uh, recently discovered that instead of there just being seven cages worth of bags that they took, there's actually around 13 cages. Yesterday we thought that there was, there was about 17,000 oysters missing. Um, after today we believe there's more upwards of over 30,000 oysters taken. Um, that's close to a $20,000 uh, loss for the company right now. So. When I was told that it was close to 17,000 oysters, what do you do with 17,000 oysters? Uh, the max oysters that we go through and s distribute in a week is about 10,000. Um, so 17,000 just kind of blew my mind. That the first thing when I heard about it is that it was just kind of mind blowing. And uh, once I've started to think about it, I've gotten a little bit more angry. You know, you're messing with somebody's livelihood. Um, you know, this is something that my boss has been working on for years now.